Hey everybody, this is Dr. William Clark here for Leadership Conversation Show. This is the show where we explore the application of leadership within a world that matters to you. Now today we're talking about moving forward and I want to address this issue with leaders because leaders are in so many tight situations, particularly those leaders who are launching businesses, those leaders who are taking on new businesses, leaders who are emerging into a new position. And I want to address three quick questions uh, as it relates to moving forward. Here's the first question. What holds leaders back from moving forward? One of the things I've seen uh, in my travels is that leaders uh, don't move forward because of the fear of the unknown. They don't know or some people are really uh, traumatized or paralyzed by the fear of the unknown. They don't like not having control over what's about to happen or what they're getting ready to see or experience. And so as a result, they stay stagnant, they stay in neutral just because they don't want to tackle the unknown. The second reason why some leaders uh, don't move forward is because they have to create a new normal. A new normal means you have to leave behind what is comfortable, what you're used to, the comfort zone you've created. And that means also leaving behind some relationships that might have been very fruitful for you. Here's a third reason I thought about as to why some leaders don't move forward. And it's because uh, they have to leave behind their comfort zone. Leaving behind a comfort zone, it includes relationships, includes people, but also it includes a way of thinking. Some people have developed a comfort zone in terms of how they've come up with solutions. They have a mechanism for determining answers to every problem. And the moment that you challenge that particular status quo or that mechanism, they lose control and that comfort zone is now being disrupted. Now, here's the second question. If moving forward is difficult, why do leaders need to master the skill of moving forward? Well, there are a couple of thoughts that I have regards to that. Uh, Number one, uh, we need to master moving forward because we need to figure out how to lead based upon what's ahead of us and not what's behind us. So if we focus too much on what's behind us and we focus too much on what's holding us back or what has been holding us back, we lose the opportunity to move forward to see how we can take advantage of tomorrow. One of my favorite books is Blue Ocean Strategy. And the intent behind the book is to talk about ways organizations can take advantage of what they consider to be blue oceans or where there are no sharks in the water, where you can be a big fish in a blue ocean, as opposed to competing in an ocean that's filled with red, where you have a lot of sharks and and fish who are bigger than you. For a lot of leaders, uh, it's difficult to say, I want to be in an area where I'm not competing with people who are bigger, badder, and better than me. And there's nothing wrong if that's the strategy you have. But in some instances, you have to figure out how to move forward and not look back to create a new blue ocean for yourself and for your organization. But here's another thought as to why leaders need to master moving forward. Our teams, our organizations are looking to us as an example for how to lead and how to handle circumstances. And as we continue to figure out how to set the proper example for our organizations, people are going to look to us and say, how did my leader handle this circumstance? Here's my third question, the final question about how to move forward. How does your organization or your team benefit from you moving forward? Well, we kind of talked about this earlier, and that is the team is not stuck in neutral because the leader is not stuck in neutral. The more you can be clear about which direction you're going, whether you want to go forward or reverse, left or right, you give people some sort of direction. The worst thing you can do is to be in neutral or go backwards or go in reverse in order to stay in the past, right? There are moments as a leader where you realize, man, we got to go backwards to move forward or we got to get ourselves unstuck. But if you're going to go backwards to stay there, that's not going to be helpful. But if you're going to get your team out of neutral or get them going in the right direction, uh, it's important for you to figure that out soon so that your organization, your team can benefit from your moving forward. Listen, this is all the time I have. Hope this was helpful. This is Dr. William Clark for Leadership Conversations. And I'll see you during the next show.